What's up YouTube, Jay Travelini here. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little update on the mining farm. I haven't really been doing too much to it. I still have the three rigs going. My P104 rig right here, mining Ethereum. My P106-100 rig, uh, that's mining Ethereum. I was doing Ethereum Classic for a little while, but with all the 51% attacks, I took it off and just went to Ethereum. Uh, the rumor is that they're solving all those issues, so I might put one of these back on Ethereum Classic real soon. And then down here we have the P10690 rig, these are 3 gigabyte cards. And that's still on Ravencoin, uh, it's doing well, but Ravencoin's been dropping in price pretty significantly. Uh, so has Ethereum actually, it's been going down, it was up over 400 at one point, now I think it's trading about 360, or even as low as 340 right now in the current market. So I still have them mining, they're still profitable, so I'm just going to keep them and hold on to the coins. But what I wanted to show you today was up here i got the trip lights i got these pdus on amazon uh well not amazon i got these on ebay i looked on amazon but they're too expensive uh so i got two of them i ended up picking them up for a good price of 35 dollars each uh, and it has as you can see the amp readouts so each bank is running eight eight amps currently you see it has been warming up in my basement a little bit uh we're at 81 degrees fahrenheit uh, it has been getting warmer out. It's about to get colder out going into September now. The late September, early October will be getting colder. Uh, but anyone that watches, I found these because anyone that watches Red Panda Mining, uh, I watch him a lot. He had these for his server case and I saw them and I, you know, immediately went and started looking. So thanks to him for showing these in his video to show me uh, which ones I could get for my rigs. I don't have 30 amp breakers like he has. Uh, I only have 15 and 20 amp breakers, so these are actually rated for 15 amps. So I'll run these up to 12 or 13 amps. I won't go past that. So right now, this one is plugged into these two P106 rigs. So it's into this one, and it's got this one on it. So between the two, it's running 8 amps. And then the one up here running 8 amps is just my P104 rig. So that's running 8 amps by itself. Uh, so the one that's running my two P106 rigs, the extension cord I have ran to it, also has a mini fridge on that outlet. That's probably another 4 amps, so that breaker is probably already running at about 12 amps, even though it's not showing on the PDU. This is only showing my mining rigs. So that is probably at its max. This one, though, to my knowledge, only running eight it's running the eight amps but i don't believe anything else is running off of that breaker so i do have room for one more rig uh, i do have plans in the very near future to hopefully put together a rig even if it's only two or three graphics cards i already have the motherboard i just have to find a uh, a frame i have to do some measurements to make sure it'll fit here on the shelf because it is tight if you guys looked at I got cheap shelving at Home Depot, but if you do look, look how tight that is with this VETA six card frame. They're the cheaper VETA six card frames, but just look how tight that is. Not very really much room for anything else. I couldn't fit my eight card rig on it. This is a VETA eight card frame, and it's just so wide it wouldn't fit on there. So that's why it's just sitting underneath of my workbench right now. Uh, I needed to get them out of my office because in my office it would have been 100 degrees right now and I would have been pretty much sweating just trying to get some videos edited for YouTube and gaming. My computer alone heats up my office a good amount but I figured being under the workbench will give us some protection if anything were to you know leak or something in my kitchen it won't leak right onto my rig that's why you do see the piece of plywood up here uh, I have a piece of plywood just in case something leaks and hits that and not my rigs because my water line to my refrigerator is ran right above these mining rigs. But now that's why I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the trip lights I added. I'll add a link to them in the description below if anyone's interested in them. They make a 15 amp and a 20 amp. I'll try to link the 20 amp also. Uh, very useful just so you can see how many amps you're running so you're not tripping circuit breakers. There are formulas online where you can convert that uh, wattage to amps but just having the readout so you can see consistently what your rigs are doing is it's very nice i wanted it for a while after watching um 
Red Panda's videos and he always had the amp readouts. So I wanted these for a while and I finally got myself a set. And I was lucky enough to find them cheap enough on eBay. Uh, since I've gone back on eBay, I, I think they're running these about $70 used. I picked both of them up for 70 so keep an eye out. Eventually someone will be selling them uh, if you are interested in getting them. They're actually made for server cases. As you can see, the mounts on each side. Uh, there's one there, and then there's one off to the side. So it's actually meant to be mounted in a server case, but I just rest them on here and it works just fine. Uh, it has the one output on the front and then on the back it has uh, more of them. I think there's about 12 on the back of it. I think it's a 13 output uh, PDU. But anyway, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for checking out the update. Uh, hope I can get some more, another mining rig made or just go out and buy one. I have been seeing some for sale right now, now that uh, Ethereum's dropping in price. I'm hoping to see somebody selling a rig and I can just go pick it up and add it to my rig here. And hopefully I can get this one running. Uh, I don't want to run anything above 13 amps. I think that'll just be too much, but hopefully I can get something else running down here. Uh, and hopefully with the colder months, uh, I can get this temperature to drop. Otherwise, in this window back here, I'll be looking to possibly clean this up and build something out of plywood so that I can put an exhaust fan in and just exhaust some of this heat and try and blow all the heat that way. But thanks for checking this video out. You know, stay tuned for more updates and uh, about my my little mi mini mining farm I got going on. I caught mini because doing three rigs. Hopefully, we can grow it into a good sizable mining farm at some point. Uh, but thanks for checking this out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know, let me know what coins you guys are mining and this one down here mining Raven coin. I'm looking to change it to a different coin. So there, let me know what you guys think I should try and mine on my. Uh, P106 90 rig, it is, they are three gigabyte cards, so I'm very limited. You know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you're actually checking out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, see you next time.